You have reached Red Steel's Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'm your man, Red Steel. And today, I had a very pleasant surprise when I went to the toy store and I found this guy on the shelves. And that is Transformer Legacy Buzzsaw. Transformers Legacy Buzzsaw. But before I get into the actual review, I just want to go over some of the spectacular details on this packaging. Up front here, you got Tibble Display Window showing you both the figure and all of his accessories inside. The only difference with this packaging and other packaging from Legacy is this packaging still has that pl clear plastic window, which is absent from a lot of the Wave 1, Deluxe, Core Class, and Forger Class figures. Then on top of the box here, you have the Transformer Legacy logo. Then on the front of the box here, you have a beautiful illustration of Buzzsaw in his insect mode. Then on the side of the box here, you have another beautiful illustration of Buzzsaw, but he's in his robot mode. Then on the other side of the box here, you have this fantastic illustration of all the Decepticons from Legacy, starting with Megatron, Decepticon Dragstrip, Iguanas, Skywarp, and kickback. Then over here you have a picture of Cybertron. Then on the back of the box here you have all the figure's features such as Buzzsaw in his robot mode and Buzzsaw in his insect mode. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw was released on May 9th, 2022 with the suggested retail price of $22.97 and he's available exclusively at Walmart. Buzzsaw was released alongside the other Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Walmart exclusives, Autobot Night Prowler, and Predacon Sandstorm. Buzzsaw is a Beast Wars inspired figure that converts into his Yellow Jacket mode in 20 steps. His accessories include his blaster and instructions. Buzzsaw stands 5.5 inches tall and he is meant for fans ages 8 and up. And now I'm going to go ahead and convert Buzzsaw from his robot mode all the way to his yellow jacket mode. But the first thing you always want to do before you transform any of your transformers, you want to remove all of their weapons and accessories. So I'm going to take his blaster here. I'm going to put this off to the side. Now for the first step of the transformation, you're know going to take this chest piece right here and slide it together. Kind of forms an insect. The next step here, you get this backpack right here which holds the wings. I want to go ahead and separate that from the chest part right here. It's kind of on a double jointed hinge. You want to kind of make it fold a bit like that. Now for the next step of the transformation, you got this peg right here. And right behind the insect head, you have this porthole right here, right in front of his face. You want to bring it up this piece. You want to make sure you peg that backpack right into the back of the insect head like that. So it looks like this. Now for the next part of the transformation. It's a little tricky because they don't tell you to do this. The arms are going to be up after you do that. You want to bring the arms down. Because right here, the shoulders are on a kind of swivel joint. You want to go ahead and bring the shoulders in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the shoulder in like that. I'm going to go and do that to the other side. Bring that shoulder in like that. Next part of the transformation, what they want you to do is take the forearms right here with the appendages. You want to turn the appendages around. You want to go ahead and turn it so the appendages are facing out and this black part is facing forward. You want to do it to the other side. So far, that's how it should look like that. The next step of the transformation, they want you to go ahead and take these fists down here and rotate them so the knuckles facing forward. I'm going to do that to the other side. Take this fist right here and just rotate it so the knuckles facing forward. So now Buzzsaw looks like this. Now on the inside of each one of these wrists, you'll notice there's a little peg right there and right there. On each side of Buzzsaw's body, there's a porthole right there. You guys can see it? And right there. You want to bend the arm at the elbow right here backwards. 
you want to make sure that you peg that right in the little port. Like that. That should go in like that. And you want to do that to the other side. You want to put that in. And you want to go ahead and just peg that right in. Like that. So far, so I should look at this so far. Next up, thing what you want to do, there's this hinge right, right behind his uh, waist. You kind of want to stand it up a little bit straight like that. So the boss all looks like this so far. I need to go fix the wings. I know my stuff keeps on snagging on my gloves. The next thing you want you to go and do, they want you to take the whole bottom piece right here and rotate it all the way around. So I'm going to do that right here and it swivels right at the back of his, his, I don't know what you call this. The next part of the transformation, you want to go into the heels right here. side, you're going to flip it into the foot, then they want you to take the entire foot and kind of flip it up. You don't want to flip it all the way up. Uh, in the instruction it shows you that they flip it all the way up, but from what I've seen in the next parts of the transformation, it kind of it kind of gets in the way. What, so the next thing you want to kind of do is, you do want to tab the two feet in together. This is a peg and a hole right there. They tab right in the middle, right there. The next part of the transformation, you want to go take the appendage, and I already have it in that position. You want to kind of so it's facing this way, like that. The next part of the transformation, you want you to go ahead and just bring in the body like that. The next part, they want you to go ahead and bend the knees. And I believe you bend the knees this way, like that. So he should look like this by now. Then the next part, it's kind of a tricky part of the transformation. They want you to make sure that you bring the legs in like this. Kind of snaps in like that. Then the next part of the transformation is make sure the feet are still together. You want to bring everything in because right here you got these pegs right here. Let them go right in there. So it should look like this. Now. And now you have Buzzsaw fix the legs and his yellow jacket. Now that I have Buzzsaw in this robot mode and on my display table, I once again just want to go over some of his play features and accessories by talking about his blaster again. And as I mentioned earlier on, on the bottom of his blaster is a 5mm peg. On the inside each one of his fists, there's a 5mm porthole. Let's take this blaster and plug it right into his fist, and now you have Buzzsaw armed with his blaster. And as I mentioned earlier on, when Buzzsaw was in his insect mode, both him and Waspinner are identical. The only difference between the two of them is the color scheme. Well, there's a difference with them in the robot mode, and that is the head sculpt. Because Buzzsaw's head sculpt was retooled to look just like the original Beast Wars story. Well, we're going to bring in Waspinner to do a side-by-side -side comparison because Waspinner's head sculpt was actually tooled to look just like the animated model from the original Beast Wars cartoon series. Other than that, both figures are identical besides the color scheme. I'm going to rotate them around so you can see the similarities and differences all on your own. And as you can see, there's even like a shared part in the work they did. And they, they might have reused Waspinator's abdomen for bus stop. These are exactly the same color and paint scheme. I'm going to go ahead and take Waspinator and put him off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Buzzsaw because Buzzsaw is a Walmart exclusive. And Walmart is not the greatest when it comes to Transformer Exclusive because they have very short supply and there's a high demand for a lot of Walmart Exclusive Transformers. Let me use Netflix Soundwave as an example. Soundwave in general is a very popular character. And this version of Soundwave actually transformed into his Generation 1 cassette player. So a lot of fans were really looking forward to this figure. Well, Walmart dropped the ball because it was very short in supply. I didn't even see this figure on shelves. I did, I did see some of the Walmart exclusives on shelves over time. Like I did see the Generation 1 package Headmasters. And I did see you know a few of these figures. But they're very hard to find. So I do not want any of you guys to fall prey to the aftermarket prices. So if you see this figure on toy shelves, snatch him up. Because Walmart does not do a long production, production run. They, they, they only run maybe a couple of shipments and that's it. So if you do see this figure, please pick him up because you're going to regret it. And I do not want to see you pay 
the inflated aftermarket prices. But if you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching Rad Steel's Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'll check you guys out next time.